Hello, in this video we will discuss a concept or doctrine of foreign non-convenience as well as other grounds of declining jurisdiction. Even if a court has sufficient grounds to accept jurisdiction over an international case, it still retains possibilities to decline jurisdiction because of various reasons. One of the main doctrines allowing to decline jurisdiction in a particular case is so-called foreign non-convenience doctrine. It means that courts can deny jurisdiction in the case of clearly inappropriate forum. In order to, for an Australian court to establish that Australian is in a clearly inappropriate forum to solve particular dispute, the courts take into account several different factors, such as the connection between the chosen forum and the subject matter or parties of the dispute, whether a forum provides a legitimate and substantial judicial advantage to the plaintiff, whether the alternative forum that is normally suggested by the defendant would grant plaintiff an adequate relief, and whether the law of the chosen forum, let's say Australia, would be also the law the substantive law that would apply to the case. This, um, this doctrine has been used in a number of online cases, such as Dow Jones and Goodnick. Uh, the defendants in this case were arguing that Victoria is forum non-convenience, that is, the forum that is not convenient to be mm, to solve this particular dispute, because the law that would be substantive applicable law in the case is New Jersey law. However, the court denied this uh, argument, suggesting that Victoria law will be applied in this case because the reputation was damaged in Victoria. As a result, the um, suggestion to apply a um, form of convenience doctrine in this case failed and jurisdiction over Dow Jones United States was established. Earlier internet cases are interesting uh, since they demonstrate that courts have been much more reluctant to grant jurisdiction over activities occurring abroad and much more scared to extend um, the application of Australian laws in internet environment. One of such cases is Macquarie Bank versus Berg. Mr. Berg, a former employee of the Macquarie Bank, was posting alleged defamatory material on the US-based website. Plaintiff Macquarie Bank sued Mr. Berg in an Australian court and requested interlocutory injective relief, that is to stop posting material on US uh, based website and remove the material that has already been posted. The issue um, that the court was addressing is whether a Australian court has jurisdiction to prevent conduct that was occurring outside jurisdiction, that is, in the United States. In this early internet case, the court recognized that, yes, Australian courts have uh, jurisdiction to prevent conduct occurring ab abroad as far as it has uh, caused damage inside Australia. However, the court declined jurisdiction and injunction in this particular case because of several uh, reasons. Uh, firstly, it, it was doubting whether the injunctive order would um, be enforceable in the United States, or whether um, international effects that uh, Aust new Australian, this new SW law, would uh, have in this particular case should be allowed, and also looked at the great caution granting interlocutory relief. Um, this case demonstrates how careful Courts used to be uh, at the, in the early internet cases. The same uh, issue still remains in 
um, in cases today, when courts try to find a balance, how to ensure that the national laws are enforced inside the territory and at the same time how to prevent that in internet disputes these national laws do not extend extraterritorially and do not conflict with potentially differing laws in other countries. Thank you for your attention. In the next video we will discuss the concept of subject matter and in-rem jurisdiction.